Today is Monday and we are ready for another class. More things to learn today. Ready? Put your hands up. Let's start with an activity to open our minds. Okay? Touch your nose. First, let's go slow and switch. Can you go faster than at the beginning? Switch, 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 switch. Now, can you go slower than before? Switch, switch, switch. Good job. Now, let me tell you for today, I prepared a class where we'll review some topics. We will review some topics, comparative first, and then we'll learn superlatives. They are kind of similar because we compare using these two topics. But let's first go over some adjectives to begin with let's remember what we said about comparatives and the class for comparatives we said comparatives help us compare two things for example if i compare my two toys first I need to be able to describe them. In order to describe things, we need to use adjectives. Adjectives are very important. So let's start by reviewing some adjectives. Here we go. Can you read with, read with me? Large. Cold. Soft. Warm. Warm. More adjectives. Long. Light. I know you're asking yourself, what is light? Um, okay. If you pick up an elephant, uh, the elephant is heavy. But if you pick up my toy, it's light. Heavy, uh, light, okay, good, thick, sweet, interesting, peaceful, creative, intelligent. Okay, all of these are adjectives. What are they? Adjectives. Before we compare things, we must be able to use adjectives, okay? Now, one more thing I need you to do is stand up. Go, go, stand up. Mm -hmm. I need you to please listen to the, listen and look at the adjective and clap your hands to identify how many syllables does it have. Remember we used to do, to do this in class? Same thing. Okay, sweet, sweet. How many syllables is that? One syllable. Interesting, interesting. How many syllables? Thick. How many syllables? Thick. Just one. Peaceful. Peaceful. How many syllables is that adjective? Two syllables. Next adjective. Long. Long. How many syllables? One syllable. Creative. Creative. How many syllables? Creative. Three syllables. Light. Light. How many syllables? J 
just one syllable. And the next one, intelligent. Intelligent. How many syllables? Four. So, now we know adjectives are short or long. Some adjectives, let me change, let me switch them. Some, some adjectives are short, one syllable. Some adjectives are long because they have more syllables, two, three, well, three, four. Okay, short and long. The next thing I need you to remember is comparatives. Let me show you. Comparatives are used to compare two things. Two things. You have one thing and another thing. And you compare them using comparatives. The teddy bear is nicer than the raccoon. Hmm. The raccoon is taller than the bear. And things like that. Okay, remember that? Okay, those are comparatives. Two things being compared. But today's topic is superlatives. Superlatives also compare things, but if we use superlatives, we should be comparing three or more things. Comparatives, only for two things to compare, and superlatives for three or more. Okay, let's look at some examples now. Okay, let's go to page... 95 now. Can you read the title? Superlative adjectives. Like we said, adjectives that we use when we compare three or more things. Ready? Can you please read the grammar chart? It's right there. Go. We use superlative adjectives to compare three or more nouns by adding the before the adjective and est to the end of the adjective. Example, my house is the largest on the block. Hmm. Let's analyze that. My house is the largest, let me put my iPad away. My house is the largest, big, 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 big house, in all the block. Let's think first. On the block, how many houses do you think there are? Just think, this is your house. How many more houses are there? Are there only two houses or more than two houses? More than two houses. Let's say a number, mm, 10 houses. Let's say 10 houses or more. 20? On a block? Okay, 20 houses. So, if we have 20 things to compare, are we going to use comparatives? No, because comparatives is only for two things, and we're saying 20 houses. So, what are we using? Superlatives. Now, my house is the largest. Now, the book says that when using superlatives, we need to, my example, we need to write, excuse me, the then the adjective, oh my god, I don't have tape, the and est at the end. The sweetest, or this is for short. This is is this short? No. Is this short? No. Is this short? No. Is this short? No. Is this short? Yes. So we would say the thickest. Or, for another short adjective, the 
longest or the lightest and the book is using the largest i think i also have that one here wait uh-huh large the largest house in the block okay this is what we do short adjectives in the middle and then we have the and est okay good okay after those examples with small adjectives how to make them superlatives let's take a look at what happens with long adjectives remember three four syllables okay let's read what the book says on page what page was that 95 okay it says for adjectives with more than two syllables we use the most before the adjective ah okay so let's pick a long adjective let's pick a long adjective that's long okay so the book says we need to write the most the most intelligent yeah, the most intelligent student in the class for example so look now we know how to make superlatives how to use superlatives if the adjective is short or if the adjective is long you see very simple let's go to activity one and see what we can do good now on the activity in the book let's read instructions write the superlative form of the following adjectives remember we're working superlative form of the adjectives oh the adjectives good let's first do the first column we'll first do the column for short adjectives okay good let's read them first sweet thick light long those are short one syllable now let's write on the blank the superlative form if your adjective is sweet what is the superlative the sweetest write it down next one the adjective is thick what is the superlative the thickest write it next adjective in the book is light what is the superlative for the lightest the next one is what is the adjective long this is the adjective what is the superlative the longest okay good now let's work with the next column next column let's work now with long long adjectives two three more syllables okay the first one is intelligent intelligent is it a short adjective is it a long adjective it's long yeah intelligent three syllables yep so what is oh my god my board is about to fall intelligent what is the superlative the most intelligent good job write it down 
The next adjective, creative. Here. Here. Yeah, because it's long. Long adjectives have the most at the beginning. So now the superlative is the most creative. Good. Write it down. The next one is interesting. Is it short or long? Short? No, it is long. And just because it is long, the superlative form is the most interesting. Like this class is the most interesting class. And finally, we have, oh no, that's it. We did them all, didn't we? Did we do peaceful? No. If not, here it is. The most peaceful. You got them all? Good. Now, let's go to activity two. Can you read instructions for me, please? Describe your family members or your or your group of friends by using superlative adjectives. You need to write sentences, my friends. Ah, it says about your family members or about your friends. Okay, I'll give you. Okay, for this activity, you have to write five complete sentences. Remember, let's review the definition of a sentence. Ready? One, two, and three. A sentence has two parts. A subject and predicate. A sentence begins with capital letter and ends with a punctuation mark. Good job. Now, you remember that when you write your sentences. We need a subject and a predicate and we must have a verb in the predicate okay sentences using superlatives ah okay so you're gonna use this option for short one syllable adjectives or you're gonna use this option for long three or more syllable adjectives okay i'm gonna say something about my mom compared to all the family members. It's my mom, my family is, and my family, there's my mom, my dad, my three sisters, and I. There are six people in my family. If I'm comparing these six people, my mom is the champion of nice. She is, my mom is the nicest person in the family. I'm using superlative, nice is short, nice, one syllable, the nicest, uh, my mom is the nicest person, that's my sentence, there's my period, good, now I'm going to write a sentence about one of my friends, Juanito, Juanito, I'm saying that in my group, group of friends with like, hundreds of friends that I have, Juanito is the champion of intelligence. Intelligent. Am I going to use one syllable adjective? Intelligent. So I'm using a long um, adjective. So it'll be the most intelligent. Here we go again. Juanito is the most intelligent boy in my class. You see? Sentences with superlatives, with short adjectives, and sentences with superlatives using long adjectives. Yep. Good. Well, this will be your homework. If you have questions, you can watch the video again. If 
you still have questions, you can read the information in the book, look at the examples, write an email asking me questions or write your uh, questions in the comments, okay? See you!